at the start says, do you want a non-VR experience or a VR experience? And because I have this, I'll choose VR. So I'll place it in the center. I close. All right. Right now, and for these experiences, I think that you have to have sort of that, that duality of normal, normal experiences and VR experiences, but still have it be a fun game that, that people will want to play, but something that VR will bring out more of and enhance the experience even more than a normal experience would. It all started when Steve and I participated to the Global Game Jam in this year, 2015, and we had a very rough prototype of this game. We had this innocent little dot in the, in the middle of the screen, and we weren't thinking much of it, but we had to think it. We have to you know, make the little leap. Even the score, you don't want to put it on the screen. You want to have it be a computer inside the world that shows you the, on its screen the, the score. And then when you do it, it's like, wow, this <laughs> is, I mean, we make all this effort to do all these things right. And because we had this little thing, this, a dot on this in the middle of the screen, it was taking away so much from the experience. It, it, even it is one of those things that you know but once you do them, now yeah, you really know. When the world starts, uh, you'll see a canvas to your left and it's fully painted in, green and red. And then you'll see a blank canvas over here to the right and these little yellow squares. And basically touching on one of these yellow squares will allow you to select it and move your cube over there. Uh, the Global Game Jam came to Coxwell. So it was organizing here and uh, maybe I didn't even know it existed really. <laughs> Uh, I heard something, but it wasn't in my world. Uh, the school was open for 48 hours for us to tinker, and uh, they gave us the rooms, the Wi-Fi. We brought our computers, and in a sense, became real. The hackathons don't conflict with um, school. They are generally on weekends, so we have the time to do them. But it's also given us a chance to have a deadline uh, for little milestones that we want to hit for each jam. You know, it, it makes us really look at, okay, what do we want to get done in this amount of time by for this game jam? What do we want the game to look like by this by the end of this game jam? And then multiples of those have caused us to progress the game at a, at a much more rapid rate, I think, than what we would have done normally. We, we were on a team in the San Francisco hackathon with three other guys that we just got placed on a team with. And I've actually found work through uh, one of the guys that was on our team uh, to do another VR project that he was working on with his company. The hosts put you on mailing lists for their hackathons and their game jams and things and, and they reach out to you and then you start rubbing elbows with people from that are sponsoring these like Google and you start getting on their mailing lists or their developer groups and then you, you just expand the network and it, it's just a, it's exponential.